Okay. Now transition into uh, more of our, our cross concept that, that we run um, a lot of. Uh, again, I classify this as a book read in terms of how we read it, in terms of what we're doing. Um, the boundary number one receiver is running a go. The quarterback has the ability to signal to him, and we'll mess around with some different things, uh, you know, a hitch, uh, a, a curl, or, or primarily uh, giving him the ability to sit, signal a 10-yard speed out. Number two receiver to the field. And this is all our W cross concept, all our cross concept stuff with the field concept. Uh, we're going to inside stem underneath the flat defender, push vertical past 12 yards, and then flatten it off. We give him the ability that, you know, he can get a little bit of depth here. It doesn't have to be a perfectly flat line, but we don't want him getting any deeper than 15 yards. The number one receiver, uh, we've messed around with this route quite a bit as well. Uh, right now, what we're running is a post curl. So he should run the post and come right down his stem that way. If he gets man coverage, it essentially turns into a speed cut dig between the flat, or the, I'm sorry, the running back and tight end. They're interchangeable flat stretches here. On this play, we classify it as a book read in terms of it's a full field progression. But for the quarterback, he needs to understand two things right away. First and foremost, we need to make the safety run, okay? If that boundary safety is getting depth vertical or coming downhill, or rolling to the deep middle, and we like this matchup, we can take it. Uh, if he's getting over top or helping play the number one receiver, then we want to progress it back across. In terms of the cross concept itself, we talk about off of the mic backer, a first window throw and a second window throw. There's technically a third window throw off of the will, but we don't talk about that as much because I, I think the, the the timing that we would hit that throw, we should probably off uh, be off to our post curl or to the flat if they're going to sink underneath that. Okay. Again, what I love about this concept, and I, I know we teach it a little bit differently than some of the air raid purists starting with our uh, number two receiver on, on the cross concept, but we're always going to start with the boundary number one. There's so much flexibility formationally, personnel-wise, whatever it is. Here we're in a 20 personnel set. Got a press man coverage look. There's our MOR, inside stem push vertical, flatten it off on the cross. And then against man coverage, we should basically end up be running a speed cut dig here. Okay. For the quarterback, go into a one high look, punch one, two, three, one reset. I like this matchup. I can give my guy a chance. Okay, throws it like a back shoulder fade. Easy money there. And we'll give our cross uh, runner uh, some flexibility to, um, to run this route. I do think there's some nuance with it. Um, here we're getting outside leverage man coverage. So he's going to push this thing vertical and flatten it off as he's running across here. You know, this is a, 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 one of our faster guys. He wants to threaten him vertically with speed and then run away from that man coverage player. You can see the window that's created there. Again, our number one receiver essentially running this like a speed cut dig there, boom, at the top, speed cutting it, wanting to be slightly negative with his angle so he doesn't get undercut, running backs in the flat there. Easy money for the quarterback, take our one-on-one, uh, third and six, 15-yard gain, that's a good football play. Again, his eyes right away on the boundary safety, punch one, two, three, safety's rolling in the middle. I like my matchup. I'm going to take my matchup, give my guy a chance, make him let, let him make you look good. Okay, here we are running it uh, again, just using motion to help us get there. Uh, trying to hide a, a little bit tight split here by the by the single X. Okay, we're getting a cover two alignment. So we're going to end up you know, running the exact same thing. Inside stem, push vertical, flatten off there. Okay, and then, you know, we've messed around with this. This game we were running it as a speed cut dig. Right now we'd be running it as a post curl. Boom, there's a the guy in the flat, tight end running back, interchangeable flat stretches. For the quarterback, eyes on the boundary safety from the beginning. Boom. Okay, it's a cover two look. They're sinking. I don't have a great side pocket window. Okay, here's my here's my shoot route runner. Inside stem push vertical underneath the sand backer. Does a good job flattening it off. Quarterback slides up in the pocket, delivers a strike for a big time play that way. Easy money, third and eight. We get you know 20 yard gain, whatever it ends up being there. Okay, uh, for the quarterback. If we don't like that for whatever reason, 
Okay, now we're progressing it back here. Again, this game we were staying as our speed cut dig, but but the, the flat defenders sink it underneath there. We would be getting all the way back to the flat here if we didn't like our cross. Good job stepping up, delivering a strike. Okay, here we are again. Now running the same exact concept. Boom, inside stem push vertical there. Okay, there's our post curl, flat stretch, flat stretch. Now, quarterback does a good job here and, and has the freedom to signal whatever he wants. Um, against this one high look, you know, I was thinking that he was going to signal a glance. Okay, um, he wants to take the easy access. He, he, he tells him to run a 10 yard out. Uh, that's stealing out there. Okay, boom, play catch. Easy money, advantage offense. They're gonna play off coverage like this. They're they're gonna they're not gonna get the guy out there right away. Well, let's steal it and let's play catch. Big time play for the offense. Okay, uh, here's our shoot route runner. You know, kind of getting held up here inside stem. And again, against man coverage, there is some flexibility. You gotta let your guys play fast. Boom, and, and our speed cut dig, um, throwing off of the flat defender that way. If they sink underneath that, we get all the way to the flat. Okay, now here we are uh, running it again. You know, we were motioning the receiver in now to, to help get a chip, hell of a chip by our, by our tight end here. You know, kind of ends up causing all kinds of chaos. Uh, helps with the pass protection standpoint. Quarterback-wise, um, you know, they, they really kind of squatted on the sticks here. So we gave our guy the freedom to, to kind of help make this double move, uh, allow our players to play fast. He's kind of running it like a little bit of a hitch and go inside stem push vertical there uh, against this man coverage. Look, we'll essentially be running this like a speed cut dig quarterback eyes are on the boundary safety. Okay. Boundary safety makes it look like he's playing the boundary number one receiver. Okay. We're off of that. He does a good job reading our eyes falling off, helping on our cross route. Okay. We're off of that. Uh, uh, receiver does a great job with vertical speed on his speed cut dig. You know, they're going to play catch man there. Boom, we're going to run right past you. Easy money, first down, uh, big time play in the national championship game. Yeah, good job here by the quarterback. Great, great eye discipline, starting with that boundary safety, then progressing it back across all the way there, delivers a strike. Again, great chip by our tight end, you know, helping out the offensive line here, getting getting a really good finish by uh, by both those guys. Okay, here we are running it again. And, um, you know, we, we kind of ran a double move as like a hitch and go, but knew they were pretty heavy on, on squatting the sticks. You know, it's also a third and 16, so we don't want to signal a 10-yard out, even with the off coverage. Uh, so uh, we got some players making plays. You know, he, he, he knows he has the ability to double move this. He runs it more as an out and up, keeps it vertical there. Same thing, motion him in to get a chip, inside stem vertical. There's our shoot route against the man coverage look and basically end up being a speed cut dig quarterback eyes on the boundary safety. Okay. They're doing running, you know, more or less the same coverage. Uh, he's kind of acting as a low hole player. Okay. That means he's taken away our cross route. Okay. So we got to make him wrong. If he's going to squat here and leave us one-on-one -on, -one on the perimeter, great double move by the receiver, little out and up action. Great job by the quarterback, giving him a chance players making plays. Uh, quarterback does a good job letting him make him look good. Receiver does exactly that. If we don't like this for whatever reason, okay, boundary safety is down. Uh, let's say um, the, the defender's all over him. We don't get a great vertical release. That's fine. We have to understand because the safety's down, we don't have a chance for that cross right now. We'll be all the way back to our speed cut dig. And if they sink underneath that, there's our tight end in the flat. Okay, here we are running it again. So quarterback, safety's down. Okay, uh, kind of a man coverage look here. Uh, taking, you know, have the ability to take our one-on-one -on -one matchup. Their corner does a good job squeezing us to the sideline. Not a lot of space. We're off of it. And again, against this man coverage look, he trusts his vertical speed to threaten him there. Quarterback feels the low hole player. They're sinking underneath our speed cut dig against man coverage. We got him out leveraged to the flat. There is no flat defender. 
uh, dropping it off, you know, five yard throw turns into a 15 yard gain. Good job by the quarterback. Great job by the tight end playing fast. Good eye discipline by the quarterback, trusting his progression. And again, going, going back to the analogy of like an old school sprinkler, you know, all the way left to right, right to left, like a book. Pretty good example there with his feet. Boom, boom, boom. Moves a little bit, delivers a strike. Okay, now we'll also mess around with this out of uh, some of our bunch splits. And, you know, here we're really getting to a four by one formation. So the rules are still the same. There's our MOR. Quarterback can signal, change things up if he wants. Now, rather than, you know, if we were an extended number two, we would tell him to inside stem, push vertical, uh, get over top of the mic, you know, push vertical past 12. Because we're in a condensed split formation, we tell him to get past 10, and it's more of an over route uh, than, than a true traditional cross scheme. And we've messed around a little bit here with how we run this route with the number, uh, in this case, the number two receiver. Um, you know, we've messed around with an expansion dig, expansion curl. Uh, what we're running right now is what we call a swirl route. Post, corner, sitting it down outside leverage there. And then we just tag the back to run a go, still the tight end in the flat. What we lose getting in this four by one formation is the ability to hold down the wheel backer um, for our shoot route. You know, that window might get a little bit tight, um, but we gain the ability to stretch them laterally and hopefully to find things better for the quarterback. So right now the quarterback reading the boundary safety, he's getting some depth there. Okay, we're off of our, our MOR. We don't like that for whatever reason. Uh, um, our, our, our cross runner is a little bit shallow. You can see him kind of making this cut at about eight yards versus if he clears through 10, he's in this window instead of running through this window. Quarterback feels that window kind of collapsing a little bit late on it, progresses back to the swirl, which again is more of a post corner sit. Easy money there. Boom. Big time play. Easy completion for the quarterback. If they sink underneath that, we take the flat there right away. Okay, same thing here in terms of his footwork, in terms of his eyes, boom, reading the boundary right away. I know that old school sprinkler, t -t 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 -t, all the way across, left to right, right to left, like a book, easy money, players making plays. 